Mm. All right, here we go. Yo, what you doing here in Plainview, man? I live here now. And it was either Wolfpack or Dynasty for Club League, and I didn't want to play with you. So I chose Wolfpack. Yeah, so you want the scouts to see you playing on the losing team and see a star on that, okay. I'm gonna get the scouts to notice me by shooting every chance I get. I mean, if I play with you, you'll be yelling at me to make the extra that's pass. That's right, because yeah. I want to win. Okay, that's all you think the scouts care about? Yeah, the scouts care if you can win, bro. Okay, then you really are stupid, bro. Well, let me give you some game, man. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Scouts only care if you got the skills that translate to the next level. Mm -hmm. That's it. Point blank, end of story. Well, you only proved that by winning. No, you proved that by showing how you can help them win at the next level. All right, I'm... I'm I'm cocky, but I'm not stupid, MP. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not a, I'm not a high flyer. I'm not a rim protector. So if I want to leave this broke downtown, I have to prove I can shoot. That makes sense, bro. Because you're small. Man, you ain't got to be wimpy. To shoot out the gym. But since you care so much, I'm gonna give you that L you've been asking for. Yeah, I bet. Right? Let's right. do it. Bet. She was here. I didn't see her. Yeah, she came with her cousin. Oh, I can't believe uh, man, you mind if I talk to him real quick? I apologize, bro. Hey, look, I know we butt heads over the years, but we go to the same school now. Bro, are you thick in the head or something? I don't like you, man. Look, I ain't trying to be your best friend. I'm just trying to win some games. All right, all right? That's, that's fine. Yeah. How about we talk on the court? And off the court, you and me win cool. Great. That's a great attitude. It We're going to win states idea. like yep, that. Yep, And I don't care about states. Yeah, that's because you're playing for the scout. Right, right. And right? that's because you're playing for the fantasy. What, you think You think they're going to rebuild the factories because you passing a little Jimmy in the clutch? You really want to help these people? How about you take over? Make the lead. Then when you got some actual power, you can actually help these people. All right, stop this nice guy hiding behind that when the truth is... You scared to become the player you need to be in order to build a real dynasty. This is just a costume, bro. These words, meaningless. Unless you put something behind that. Yeah, I... Yeah. Think about it. I can't believe how many North Beverly hats I saw today. Man. Front runner high school team is crazy. Yo, that's what happens when you win eight straight titles and you're the most exclusive private school on the north side of Chicago, man. Five assistant coaches. Full time. Mm hmm. That means they've been scouting you for months. Guess I'm gonna have to just go in there and do my thing, you know what just I mean? Stop playing, MP. What the heck? What, what do you, you wanna win, bro? Of course I wanna win. What you doing? Pass the rock. Are you. You're on a whole nother level than everybody else. I get that. But we can shoot. All right, especially if we're wide open and they're throwing doubles at you with their all-star recruits, man. Yo, Patrick, ever since you got to Plainview, you've been telling me to take over, prove to the scouts that I'm an NBA player. Yeah. And now we're on the biggest stage and you sitting here to tell me to play timid? You scared? You nervous? What's I'm up, scared, man? scared, man. It's, it's North Beverly. can't lose to those guys. Hold on. Why? Because you play with half of them on your club league team? It's not the players, man. The players are in the same condition we in on scholarship. I'm talking about the fans. I can't stand the fans, man. They've been getting everything handed down to them. Their entire lives, man. And they swear it's because they're better than you. Yeah, no, that's real. Meanwhile, somebody from Plainview can work twice as hard as them, and they'll never, ever get the same opportunity. I hear you. That's exactly what I'm saying. But, yo, you want to hear something even crazier? One of the biggest donors at North Beverly is the guy who shut down the garment factory. And my grandfather, he worked there for 37 years, bro. 37 years, Patrick. Man, if you, 
If you force up shots, we're gonna lose, man. The stock's gonna drop. Who's left for me to manage? <laughs> Go with this managing thing, man. How about you just worry about knocking down your shots tomorrow, and then we'll talk about it, all right? That's not a problem. <laughs> all right, then. Plain view. All right, man, let's get out of here, bro. Yeah, let's I told you we were going to get that W, bro. We <laughs> did that. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Did y'all look at the stands during that trophy session? Yeah, dude. Our whole section was crying. Oh, man, it was crazy. I did not realize how much we meant to everyone until I saw it on their faces, oh, man. Oh, man, I ain't going to lie. I had some tears rolling down. Right? Come on, man. That was some emotional stuff, y'all. Bro, I had tears, especially because, like, this is it for me. Mm. You know, I'm not playing college ball, and I'm definitely not playing in FIBA like our uh, boy come here. Come on, man. Yeah. Chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> not for real. Thank I you, never man. left Thank Illinois, you. and you're going all the way to Hungary to play for our country? Yo, that's wild. Man, I can't even think about that right now. I just got to focus on graduating first, and that's it. Come on, man. You got the best grades on the team. And you talking about you got to graduate uh, you go. first like you some at risk. You? Hey, it's just on, one man. step at a time, P. You know, it's, that's how you get to where I'm at, man. <laughs> yeah, that and being a freak athlete. <laughs> nah, that don't, that don't hurt. But if you're trying to build something big, you got to do it brick by brick, man. Speaking of bricks. Benny over here been putting up bricks all season. Right, I knew he was going to say that. Right. So you got jokes now, huh? I got jokes. I got the looks. I got the charisma. Delusional self-esteem. Whoa. <laughs> Throwing shots. Well, all the time, man. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'll take a question from you. Zidane, you won tournament MVP in both the FIBA U-17 World Cup and the FIBA U-18 European Championship. And now you've got the Spanish U-19 team on the cusp of an undefeated World Cup run. Is there anything the United States and their star player MP can do to slow you down? No. Can you elaborate on that? I have been the best player at the international level since I was 16 years old. You call MP a star, but he hasn't won anything in his real competition. He is overrated. Those are bold words. We are going to win the championship on Friday, and everyone will see that Spain has the best young basketball players in the world. Hey, yo, y'all get a good look at this. MP, you gonna let him talk to you like this? Man, what you want me to do, fight, buddy? <laughs> I mean, I would. What? I mean, guys like our monster, man, they always trying to get under your skin. The last thing you want to do is let them know you're upset. You know what I mean? I guess so. Nah, I don't like it. Cat too young to be that cocky. I don't know, man. He nice. He earned it. But the only way to shut down somebody like that is to stay locked in and win. Everything else is wasted energy. You already know, man. If you, if you say so. Oh. You guys can fit George more. Let's go, man. Yep. Yep. Have you ever heard the Spanish national anthem? It's beautiful, one of the oldest in the world. You'll hear it tomorrow when they give us the trophy. I think you will like it. Very catchy. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, when you guys get up there, I'll introduce you one by one, then open it up for questions. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder, there are reporters from 27 countries in this room. So whatever you say will be heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Got you. No gotcha. yeah. right. Looks like they're ready for you. How are we feeling? Relaxed. Wonderful. Let's get to it. Okay, we're going to get started with Team USA's press availability. Representing Team USA will be Tim Fielder, Brandon George, and of course, MP. Hi, everyone. How y'all doing? Let's start with you, Edith. Edith Bauer, Sport Monatlich. I was wondering if you've had a chance to watch Spain's press conference from yesterday, specifically Ivan Almanza's comments, saying 
MP is overrated and hasn't won anything against real competition. Yeah, I saw it. And? He likes to talk. I like to play. <laughs> <laughs> so no thoughts at all. <laughs> like I said, I let my game do the talking. You know, so far it says that we have the best defensive rating in this tournament, and there's no accident to that. You know, we, we focus on what really matters over here, which is winning. You know, so he can do all that talking that he wants. But we're going to win tomorrow, and that'll speak louder than any sound bite that Almanzo gives you. Thank you. Who's overrated now, man? Still you. Uh, come on, you did your thing now. Mm -hmm. Hey, enjoy my anthem, man. <laughs> So how, how'd you get him to do this? Uh, well, I know he's your favorite actor, and I got to end with his agent, so I thought, why not see if I can make something happen? What's up, man? NP, what's up, my man? Ah, uh, Jalen, man, thank you for the invite, man. I appreciate it. You got a good group here. Yeah, of course, man. Your manager did most of the work, though. He's a good guy. Yeah? No doubt. Yeah, he's on it. Hey, Jalen, you mind if I get a couple seconds to talk to my client? I got to catch him up on a couple yeah, things. Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, thanks for the Bieber tickets. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Uh, Bieber tickets? Uh, you got a good manager, MP. Hold on to this guy. For sure. So, uh, what's up with these Bieber tickets, bro? You know, it's a lot of stars in the gym today, man. Yo. How you feeling? Come on, man. You know me. I'm ready to hoop. Yeah? Yeah. Is that, uh, Austin Reeves over there? Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You think he saw that thing? Oh, the thing when you called him a wannabe role player at best? Man, a lot of people have to be digging up these old tweets. I was 16 when I posted that. Yo, look where you at. You in the league now, man. You under a microscope. Why don't you just go over there, say what's up, clear the air? Might as well, right? I mean, it's no use hiding. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, man. Let's hey, go. I don't even know what that means. Let's go. Yo, Austin. What's up, man? I'm MP. Okay. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. I've been a fan of yours for a minute now. You've been doing your thing. How you went undrafted to now starting with LeBron? That's super inspirational, man. I thought I was a wannabe role player at best. Ah, uh, look. I was 16 when I posted that. I got caught up in the moment, man. Well, now you're in this moment. Are you going back all that talk up? You really think you're him, don't you? I know you? I'm him. Yo, I need to talk to you for a second. Hey, we'll be right back. Yo, what you Look, doing, man? man? a lot of guys talking this league. You sure you know what you're doing? Pete, it'd be worse if I back down. Okay, I don't know about that, all What right? you talking about? You forget how we met? You was trying to get up in my head just like Austin, and then I had to shut you down. Earning your respect and then your friendship, bro. You kind of went along those lines. Man, that's exactly how it happened, man. The real ones don't respect you if you back down. Look, well, just make sure you back it up, all right? Because nobody respects somebody who can't put their money where their mouth is. Pete, I got this. All right? All right. Go on, man. Make me proud, all right? Plain, Plain view. view. Go get it. Got it. Looks like I might be him after all, huh? I know you're not talking like that after an overrun. I don't know. It looked like you was taking it serious. You got a lot to learn, Rook. I know a little bit. And you're going to learn a lot more when these games start counting. Hey, not exactly building bridges. Ah, uh, come on, man. When you get scared of a little friendly trash talk, man. I'm just saying, now the dude's gonna be gunning for you. And you know I want all that smoke. Look, man, you come a long way from that kindergarten teacher I knew in the ninth grade. And I'm still him. I just know when to dial it up a little bit, you know what I mean? All right. Find your balance. I like that. Yo, if we're gonna create that dynasty that yeah. we've been dreaming of, yeah. it's going to take everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly, bro. Carrot in the stick. Yes, sir. The league ain't ready for you, man. <laughs> Not by a long shot. <laughs> Plain view. view. All right, bro. This is game seven of the 2025 NBA Finals. And we are indeed in overtime. 
going, man. We got this, all right? We got this on defense, all right? Let's make sure we stay locked in. Nothing okay. silly. You got all it. Right? No silly mistakes. Let's go. Game seven. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, MP. What's up, coach? You brought us this far. Now take us home. Come on, coach. I was born ready. What's up with you, man? You doing another one of those visualization exercises? I was. All right, well, look, I've been calling you for a minute, OK? It's like you're on a different planet. Listen, you got to fully immerse yourself in the experience that you're trying to manifest. If it doesn't feel real, then it doesn't work. OK, you're right. All right, so what are you manifesting this time? I got that goal set and meeting later on with Coach Tucker and Cliff. OK. And I was visualizing how I won my rookie year to go. Okay, cool. Well, judging by that goofy-looking grin you got on your face, it must have went pretty good, huh? Let me guess, rookie of the year. Even better. A championship, bro. Ooh, I was close, though. Okay, look, on that tip, when you get to the meeting, they're going to ask you, what kind of player do you want to be? Mm -hmm. All right? Have you visualized that yet? As a matter of fact, I have. Well, great. What do you see? <sighs> Come on, man, you see it. You spent a lot of time thinking about this, didn't you? Yeah, only my entire life. Now, did you want something, or were you just coming in here to try to interrupt my meditation, man? <laughs> ah, nah, man, I'm here on official business, all right? I know we boys and all, but I am your manager, OK? Still can't believe I let you talk me into this one, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the power of persuasion, right? And it's one of the best skills you have as a manager. All right, Mr. Manager. Manager Wade, what's up, man? All right, so I was coming here to remind you about that goal setting meeting you got today, but you all over that, though. 100%. All right, look, don't be late. OK, because Coach Tucker hates him when people are late. It's at the arena, right? Yeah, it's in Cliff's office. All right, got you. OK, good. Now let's talk about pickup hoops. Oh, nah, P. You're not about to tell me I can't hoop at the park, man. I could get hurt just walking down the street. I can't worry about that, man. No, 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 that's not my angle. As a matter of fact, I was going to tell you I found the guys in the city who run the best games, OK? Chris Manning and Shakedown. I dropped a pin for you so you can talk to them whenever. OK, nice, man. Good looking out, bro. Hey, no doubt. <laughs> hey, anything <laughs> else or what's up? Oh, uh, yeah, walk with me. What's this? Well, I've been thinking. This moment, start to your NBA career. I mean, we talked about this for as long as we've known each other, man. Facts. You put in a ridiculous amount of work to get here. That's also true, man. Yeah, so I just, you know, wanted to give you something you could look at to remind yourself of how far you've come and so you can appreciate the journey. Yo, is this that club league ticket from when you was out there talking trash in the parking lot, bro? <laughs> Yo, it is, it is. And when you found out I was moving to Plainview, you were big mad. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I'm not going to lie, man. This is outstanding. Uh, this is this is hitting me, man. It's just a small token. So what are you going to do now? Head to the arena, get there nice and early for your meeting. Man, I'm about to go to the park. I got some nervous energy I need to work through. Look, just go see Chris and Shakedown, all right? They'll sort you out. All right. Thanks again, man. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, don't even mention it. I'll catch up with you later. MP, what's up, man? Everyone's so, been talking about you. Absolutely. And we've been hoping you'd stop by and get a few games in. So you're Shakedown and Chris, right? Yeah, my manager was telling me you guys have the best runs in the city, huh? That's right, as long as you join Elite. Uh, don't listen to him. Everyone knows... <laughs> That rises where the real hoopers play. All right, so fill me in. What are you guys talking about? Affiliations. They're like private clubs for the city's best street ballers. And they've okay. got their own courts with their own sense of style. Okay. Over at Rise, we got a futuristic mech suit meets warehouse kind of vibe. It's dope. It, right. It's OK. I mean, Elite is much cooler. Please. We've got a pirate ship, Shake. A pirate ship. And it's huge. That makes sense. That's what he will sell you on. Elite's all about being flashy. There is nothing wrong with having a little fun. No, I'd rather win. And that's what you'll do if you join Rise. We get everyone involved. Play a team game. Uh, you can't just win without breaking down the defense off the dribble. Mm -hmm. It's funny you mentioned defense. I don't think I've ever seen you play in. Yo, guys, Please, guys. I will get on the court and lock you up. Guys. Oh, come on, I man. will lock him up. Okay. We'll, we'll see about okay. that. Uh, what were you saying? I was trying to say, uh, what do I have to do to join an affiliation? Uh, well, normally, 
we have to put you through a probationary period, mm -hmm. but you're in the NBA, so we'll waive all that. That's true. Right. Just stop by whenever you've made your decision. I'll be right over there by the elite entrance. <laughs> and I'll be over there at Rise. Good to see you again. You get a chance to check out Elite's courts? Yeah, man. Y'all got a crazy setup in there. Pretty cool, right? Definitely. So what do you say? Are you ready to join Elite? I'm in. Yes, that's awesome. We are thrilled to have you. And I'm thrilled to join the squad. Let me give you a few details about how all of this works. First of all, being a member of Elite means you earn rep. And you earn it wherever you play in the city, the rec, Pro-Am, the theater, the beach. Hold on, what does uh, rep mean? Good question. It's pretty simple. The better you play, the more you win. The more rep you earn. The more rep you earn, the more rewards you get. We've even got some special stuff for people who finish in the top 10 every season. Okay, I like that. We've also got daily rewards, so you're always winning something. Nice. Anything else? Yeah, each season we've got events where Rise and Elite go at it. And at the end of the season, whichever affiliation has the best winning percentage gets a boost to rep progression for everyone in the affiliation. Uh, everyone who contributed, that is. No sitting on the sidelines if you want to get that rep boost. Oh, man, there's a lot going on here. Y'all go all out, huh? Yeah, man, we get after it here. And while you're still getting the hang of things, you might want to hit up the casual court. No offense, no offense. It's just a good way to get your feet wet before you take on some of the people who have been doing this for years. All right, Chris. Sounds good to me, man. Thanks for walking me through it. No, no, no. Thank you. We're all pumped to have you on the squad. Coach Tucker showed me some photos of the gym you and your manager set up. Yeah, I wanted to work on my game 24-7. Something wrong with our training facility? It doesn't have any candy in the vending machines. <laughs> 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 no, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any excuses. You know how it is. I do. And that work ethic of yours is something we all love about you. Thank you. You're going to fit our culture like a glove. Well, I'm excited to be here. I feel like uh, this is a perfect place to start my career. Fantastic. Well, then why don't we talk about our goals for the season then? As a former player, I understand how important it is for an organization to clearly communicate its expectations. And I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page to start the season. Let's do it. Based on our roster and what we accomplished last year, what do you think our goal is this season? Cliff, I don't know about you, but I'm trying to chip up. <laughs> <laughs> We'd consider anything less than a championship a failure. Understood. Yeah, it's just important to remember this isn't all on you. Mm -hmm. all right, we have a great infrastructure in place here. All you have to do is play your part. With all due respect, Cliff, I want to do more than just play our part. I get that. I just want you to understand that you don't have to do everything. You know, that kind of mentality hinders development. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, Coach Tucker is going to help you set your personal goals for the first half of the season. We've got some strong opinions on what you should focus on, but we'd like to get your input too. Okay. This is a collaboration. That's great because I have been visualizing exactly how I want my career to be. Visualizing? Yeah. Huh. You know, like meditation and manifestation, mm -hmm. that sort of thing? Well, why don't you manifest some opinions on this list of potential goals for the first half of the season? Mm -hmm. you know, let me know if anything speaks to you. You want me to just pick one? There's a lot to work on at this level, always. And you'll do a little bit of everything, but we find that giving our players a list of uh, specific goals to work on for the first half of the season is the mm -hmm. best way to drive development. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm with it. It also allows us to give you some milestones to track your progress. We'll even highlight on our schedule some key games to use as measuring sticks. Ah, uh, that's that communication that you were talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Pick a goal. I want to be the best team in this league. Everything else is secondary, whatever it takes. It's easier said than done. Yeah. I'm here to share my focus, right? That's what we're doing. It is, but I'm just letting you know this is one of the harder goals on this list. It's about taking down the best of the best. But if we are who we think we are, then we're going to have to do that anyway. We're here to win championships, right? Huh? This just underlines it and puts everything in bold. Indeed it does. I'm looking forward to seeing how you fare against the elite of the elite. I'm looking forward to making this organization proud. Okay, fantastic. Wish being a GM was always this easy. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing. Yep. We got Media Day coming up. Oh, I love Media Day. 
uh, it's always been fun for me as a fan, so this will be cool. Our PR director, Donna Chase, she's going to walk you through everything. She's great. Right. You're going to love her. Brian, anything you want to add? Just keep working. Yeah, we'll talk more about your spot in the rotation as we get closer to the season opener. All right. Appreciate your time. Look forward to building something special here. So do we. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Wow. Time to talk rotation. Ah, great. I've been looking forward to this. Every NBA player wants to start someday, and I'm sure you're no different. I've never come off the bench a day in my life, coach. That's pretty much the case for every player in an NBA locker room. Until they get to the league. Right. Of course. There's no nice way to say this, so I'm gonna put it bluntly. You've got an established player in front of you. You want his spot, you're gonna have to take it from him. Okay. That makes sense. This team is a meritocracy. You get the minutes you earn. Nothing's given. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what your draft position is or how much you're getting paid. You get it done out there on the court, we'll put you in the starting lineup. So just so I'm clear, how do you... How do you make that decision? Like, will you let me know when I've done enough to become a starter? Yeah, we've got some milestones we want to see you hit. You hit them, we'll put you in the starting lineup. All right, you got your feet wet. Now the real work starts. Whatever it takes, coach, you know I'm game. Look, everyone thinks what happens out there is what creates it. Coach, that was great. That was really helpful. Which reminds me, we've talked a lot about maximizing your playing career, which is critical. But you become the best version of you so we can become the best version of us. Coach, you have to put that on a t-shirt. I am serious, MP. I'm serious, too. You become This the... is a team game. Everything you do both on and off the court affects our ability to win games. Okay, team chemistry is vitally important to our success, and if you do things that negatively affect that, you hurt the team. A press conference answer that rubs someone the wrong way might mean they, they look you off when you're open, and now we're taking a contested shot instead of an open one. It's all connected, and it all matters. Are we clear? Crystal. Good. Now rest up, rehydrate, and follow the trainer's plan to a T. Proper recovery is just as important as proper training. And you get back to work tomorrow. First game in the pros. I'm sure your phone is blowing up. You know, I haven't had a chance to look at my phone yet. Well, when you do, there'll be texts from every person you've ever met mm -hmm. and a few people you haven't. Most notably, there will be press looking for quotes. They can hit me up on text, too? They do. And you want to handle this like you would any regular press conference. You want no comment? No comment. You want to answer? Go ahead and answer. Just remember, everything you say is on the record and has an impact. Most importantly, on your team chemistry and your public perception. Okay? That makes sense. Look, emotions run high when a game has just ended, okay? All I'm asking is that you take a moment to think before you respond. Words can get twisted easily in the league, and what might seem like a harmless bit of bragging could be taken as a slight. A teammate, by an opponent, a coach, you name it. I'm under a microscope now. That's right. All part of the business. Understood. Great. If you have any other concerns, press or PR related, you know where to find me. Welcome in to the Jalen Murphy Show. I'm your host, Jalen Murphy. I know more about sports than you do. Uh, that's debatable. Uh, watch your mouth, Russ. We got a great show for you today, starting off with a brand new segment, Trash Talk Do's and Don'ts. Oh, I'll start. Um, don't tell people how to trash talk when you were a seventh man with a rickety jump shot and the handle of a precocious fourth grader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do keep your mouth shut if you spent most of your career waving towels at the end of the bench. You know what? You've been selling me short since college, man. 
How about this? We could have won a championship, but you look me off to take a double team 30 footer at the buzzer, buddy. For the last time, Russell, you weren't open. I was open. Uh, guys, I was. I was open. Uh, I was uh, wide open. Uh, just, if I may, just, can I just say, wowzers. I'm so looking forward to learning from both of you. And, and more data is always important, even when it's something as unquantifiable as Shut it, Toby! Toby! Okay. Let's start the segment. Don't trash talk if you can't back it up. There's nothing worse than writing checks with your mouth that your game can't cash. That's what I'm saying. Not only does it make you look like a clown, but it demoralizes your teammates. You'd know all about demoralizing your teammates, wouldn't you, Russ? Oh, you would like to think so, except that my basketball skills were so um, superior to yours my entire career that you couldn't uh, even just, hold a candle uh, to uh, me, uh, Jalen. Uh, uh, guys, if, if I may, uh, just to put some perspective on this. There are only 525 athletes in the NBA at any given moment. And okay. FIBA estimates there are 450 million basketball players worldwide. Wow. Which means you're in the top 99.9% .9 of players by just being in the NBA alone, which that's a pretty impressive stat, Jalen. Toby. <laughs> yes? Enough. Oh. You already won the lottery by marrying my sister. There's no <laughs> need to suck up to Russell like this. It's unseemly. I'm not sucking up. I don't, I just, I want to make sure everyone feels like they have value and I'm just following the data and seeing where the facts lead. You know what? Shut, it, Shut it, Toby. Toby. Okay. Do keep your trash talk about the game. We're all competitors here, but there's no need to bring up family, friends, or physical attributes. In other words, Show some class. Jalen, you literally just brought up my wife. Yes, Toby, but I did it with class. And besides, this is television, not basketball. Anything goes. MP, <laughs> nice to meet you. Name's Allie. Welcome to the Gatorade training facility. It is nice to meet you, Allie. <laughs> this place is something else. Yeah, we wanted the setting to be Inspirational. I like that. As we're fond of saying around here, Gatorade exists to spark what's within. Well, I've been drinking Gatorade for as long as I can remember, so I'm a fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> then you want to head to our store where you can pick up some of your favorites. Gatorade Thirst Quencher, Muscle Milk, and Gator Light. Uh, I've been meaning to try Gator Light. I've heard good things about that, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. It has a special blend of five electrolytes for rapid rehydration, which, which you'll need if you spend a lot of time at our gym. 100%. <laughs> everything, everything you see here is backed by science and designed to help you progress on your journey. But it'll take hard work, focus, and determination to make the most of it. I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll just love it here. Oh, and don't forget to check out the courts. There is no better place to play in the city as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's some amazing views. Oh. The yeah. best. <laughs> you have any questions? No, I think I got it, Allie, but I appreciate your warm welcome. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, and you don't have to be afraid to say hi to me whenever you see me. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later. Okay. There he is, the king of New York. Nah, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, you're more of a team first type of guy, right? I mean, I can take over a game. There's no doubt about that one, man. Yeah, but as a point guard, you know, your priority is to make sure everyone on the team is thriving. Right. You put people in positions to succeed and then hold them accountable on top of that. Yeah, but first, you got to hold yourself accountable first. If I do something wrong, my hand's up. So if you don't hold yourself to that type of standard, then why would they listen to you? Exactly. Got it. So how are you feeling about your recent play? Not going to lie, Coach. I feel pretty good. Uh, so do we, which is why we think you're ready to run with the starters. Coach. You playing with me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. I've been looking forward to this opportunity. Now, remember when I told you this is a big boy league, MP? Mm -hmm. When the coaches make a move like this, it puts us in the crosshairs. It puts Cliff in the crosshairs, too, because the buck stops with the general manager. Well, like you said, it's a grown man's league, and if you can't handle that pressure, then you ain't gonna make it that far. Glad we are understood. Loud and clear, coach. It's time to prove you belong, MP. Good luck. Oh, Shay. I gotta ask you something, man. Shoot. So, when you're in those clutch moments, what be going through your head, bro? <laughs> nah, man, I'm serious. Because, to me, you're the most clutch player in the league, and I just want to know your mentality in those moments. Yeah, I want to be an NBA champion, and some of the best ever haven't done that. Ah, that's for sure. Like, even if they've done everything right in their career, right? 
Exactly. So if I'm not focused in every moment, then I'm going to miss my chance to do so if I get the opportunity. Mm. Success is when opportunity meets preparation. Truly. That's exactly right, bro. First, you got to believe you can do it. Then you got to go out there and do it. Respect. Yo, Austin, what's up, man? What's up? You got any wisdom for me? Wisdom? How much time you got? All right, so uh, let me just ask this. You've been playing with some all-timers. LeBron, AD, yeah. So what would you say is something that you've learned from them? I've learned a lot. But one thing I'll say about LeBron, he always sets his team up for success mm. and his teammates for success. And that's why he's the greatest player ever. That's facts. You want to have a long career in this league? Just make sure you do right by your teammates. Mikael Bridges, the ultimate winner. You said it, not me. Nah, but for real, man, I've always been impressed with how you do whatever it takes, man. You got the star quality, and then you know how to play the role player role, too. That's tough, man. Yeah, just do whatever it takes. For sure, for sure. You know, defense, energy, playing off ball. Mm. Just trying to do all the little things, you know. Got to do it. Even the star players have to. Got to lead by example, right? Definitely. At the end of the day, people could take a lot of shots, mm. worry about points. But for me, I'm just trying to win. More than anything. Jake, what's up, man? What's up, MP? <laughs> man, pleasure to meet you. Man, same here. When my manager told me that you wanted to connect, I was all about it. Oh. Did he Did he give you a tour? No, no, but he looked like he was pretty busy. Oh, man, that wasn't very neighborly of him. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I see you what saw you did. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, so you want a tour now, though? You know, a tour would be cool, but I was thinking maybe we could hoop. Oh, yeah, I did hear that you were pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm not joining the league anytime soon, but I can hold my own in a pickup. Okay, Jake, I see you, man. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, you want to get one in? I, look, I was thinking we could run twos, and if I play with one of your NBA buddies, I might stand a chance. For you, Jake, anything, man. Let's Ooh. do it. <laughs> hey, you really are a good neighbor. Let's see if you still feel the same way when we're done. I know you're an old pro at the insurance game, but this is my specialty, man. I'm not taking it easy on you, Hey, right? I wouldn't have it any other way. All right. All right. Well, good game, man. You could ball. Oh, man, that was a dream come true. Look, I've met a lot of MPs in my time, but this is the first time I've hooped with one of them. Hey, that's what we do here, man. We make dreams a reality. <laughs> hey, man, as a token of my appreciation, mm -hmm. I got you a couple of gifts can't welcome someone into the neighborhood without a gift, right? Man, you didn't have to do that. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Ah, I didn't think you would do it. You did it, man. <laughs> I gotta say the best for last, right? I hear that. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, thanks again, MP. I really had a great time today. Thank you. Oh, that's twin -0. What up, MP? You straight? What's up, man? Scoot, how you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm straight. Just thinking about the next challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like that about you, man. I know that you keep pushing yourself. Man, I want to be the best, so that's why I got to mess myself up against. And if you ain't trying to be the best, then why are you trying, right? Man, yes, sir. You already know the ingredients. Man, so whoever in front of you, you got to go take it. Right. And if you're a real one, you already know, right? Man, you know it. Yep. So. What's up, MP? I'm Chris Brickley. Welcome to my gym. We're open 24-7. Whenever you want to get some work in and sharpen up your skills. What's up, Chris? This is dope, man. It feels good to get out of the practice facility sometime. Of course. We've got open runs with other pros daily. Three on three, Monday through Thursday, and five on five on the weekends. Come by any time. Bet. You have been playing well as a starter. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we are confident it is the right move for the long-term health of the team. But not everyone is as thrilled as we are with the new life. I'm sure you can figure out who he's talking about. I mean, if I were him, I'd be unhappy too. But like you said, there's no place for hurt feelings and this is a grown man's league. Yes, of course. But we would like you to make a special effort to get him more involved in the offense when you're on the floor with him. We've talked a lot about using your gravity to get everyone involved. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that he's one of those people. I'm a little confused. You said you were happy with the way that I was playing. We are, but we're losing games. Man, it doesn't matter what other circumstances we're dealing with. We made the move and we're losing, and it looks bad to everyone. But do you know who most of all? And you're not happy losing games, are you? Of course not, but there's only so much that I can do. No, you can always do more. Okay, and losing one of our best players in the off season is only gonna make things worse. 
So what do you want me to do? We have some ideas. All right, look. I'll give him my best shot, but he has to hold up his end of the bargain. I can't put the ball in the basket for him, too. All we ask is that you try. It's in the best interest of the organization, MP. We need you to be a team player. Yo, MP, how did I mean go today? Yo, uh, it was okay. They said that they want me to try to keep the peace. Keep the peace? Yeah. Like how? They said that they need everyone to win championships, so I should try to create more open looks. Open looks? For the guy who can't adjust his new role on the team. And who's running around blaming everybody but himself. Yeah, I guess they worried about losing him in the offseason. No, 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 losing him. They should be worried about losing you, man. Why? I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, but you can't let them know that. Come on, you think they need him to win championships? Honestly, I don't know. Defenses, they get tough in the playoffs, man. But I know that I can deliver in the crunch time. Exactly. Okay, that's why you need to focus on you, okay? Whether he comes along or not, that's up to him. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, Pete. But I'm trying to bring championships to this city. Duh, that's why they got you, man. They don't need him. Even MJ needed Scotty, Pete. I'm trying to win here, nowhere else, all right? Okay, look, as good as he is. He's a legend, Patrick. And so are you. A legend, bro. And so are you. Okay, his time is over. It's your time, so go be a star, all right? Their job is to build a good team. Don't let them put that on you, all right? Look, I hear what you're saying, Pete, but it's not that simple, man. Look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to give you advice, okay? Look, what you do with that is up to you, all right? But I know you, all right? And I know your dream is to create a dynasty bigger than MJ's. All right, in order for you to do that, you need to become the face of this franchise. Don't let anyone get in your way, no matter what they've done for this team in the past. Maybe, man. Okay, look, I get that. All right, and I got your back. I'm just telling you how I see it. And for your sake, I hope you see it too. Now, I admire your willingness to dress up in such a casual hair. I appreciate that. All right. What makes a young man of your age pay special attention to how he dresses? And I like to shop, you know. All my life, there's been things that I've wanted, and now I'm in a position where I can buy it. So I'm just trying to enjoy it and stay young and fly, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Is there any item in particular you'd like to shop for? Oh, for sure. It would have to be shoes. You know, I have at least like 400 pairs of shoes. I have a whole room that are just shoes, you know, sneakers, uh, Chelsea boots, suede loafers, you name it. I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Huge moment on the show is I am ready to unveil my ultimate NBA Dynasty rankings. All right, I mean, it took you long enough. Actually, he brought this up two weeks ago. Finally, Toby says something useful. Oh, thank you. I mean, it would have taken me 20 minutes, but maybe that's because I know how to ball. No one knows more than me, Russell, Whatever. about anything. Oof, that is patently false. And you can patently shut it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Maybe not, Toby. I'm not a book boy like you, but book I boy. am a knower of ball, and I am ready to unveil my dynasty list. All right, just, just say it already. Uh, Do we need a drum roll? All right, here we go. In reverse order, please hold your applause mm -hmm. until uh -huh. the end. Number nine, Hakeem's Rockets. I like that. Right. I like yeah. that. Number That's eight, good. Isaiah's bad okay. boy Pistons. Listen, I, yeah. Number seven, LeBron's big three heat. Number six, Birds, Big Three, Celtics. Number five, Steph's Warriors. Number four, Duncan's Spurs. Number three, Kobe's Lakers. Number two, Magic's Showtime Lakers. And number one. I mean, it's obviously, it's obviously Jordan's, it's balls. Jordan's balls. Wrong! It's Jordan's Bulls! Yeah, that's what I said. No spoilers, Russ. I mean, we both said it already. Ah, well, we could debate the definition of spoiler all day long, but what, what I want to know is, what do you think? I mean, quite frankly, it's a shockingly coherent list, especially for you, Jalen. Uh, but, you know, I think 
it's some of the placement is uh, debatable. Nobody cares, Toby. Russ, what do you think? You're a hooper. How'd I do? Honestly, I think my biggest thing is Duncan Spurs. You know, I feel like like you put him a little high. What about five championships? Don't you no, understand, No, 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 I know. It's Russell? just it's how long it took to get him, you know? It was Duncan's like... first championship came in 1999, and his last was in 2014. That's a 16-year span. Right, and the Warriors, who you put below them, won four in nine years. I mean, I could even make it the case for the Celtics being more dominant, winning three and seven, including five finals appearances and going up against those great Lakers teams. Plus, I might put Larry over Steph if we're keeping it 100. Hmm. <laughs> Look, those are interesting points you both make. It's clear you spent a lot of time thinking about this. And for that, I, you know, I commend you. Unfortunately, it pains me to say this, but you're both unbelievably wrong. And stupid. Okay, we don't need to make it personal, Jalen. It's, it's okay to disagree. Everything is personal, Russ. This is war. Pretty sure this is a TV show. That it is, Toby, which means it's time for a quick commercial break. Back with more Jalen Murphy show after this. Thanks, Donna. So you guys have been at your best against the top teams in the league. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Michelle, this team is full of dogs. You know what I mean? And when the light shine the brightest, that's when we're at our best. So I wouldn't trade this team for any crew. Given your success against these top teams in the regular season, would it be a disappointment if you failed to win a championship this year? There's our rain cloud. <laughs> <laughs> um, It'd only be a disappointment if we didn't leave it all out there, but you know, this group of guys, they got more heart than anybody that I've ever played with, so I'm not too worried about that. Thank you, thank you. P, time to set goals for the second half of the season. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. Take a look. Let us know what you think. I wanna focus on beating our rivals. Why is that? Well, as you know, in the NBA, there's not a lot of difference between the best team and the worst team, but motivation, it can take you a long way. When you're, when you're going up against your rival, you got everybody rowing in the same direction. And in my experience, that type of camaraderie right there, that'll pay off big time when it comes to the playoffs. Everyone in this building works harder, smarter, and more efficiently when we are taking care of business against our rivals. Agreed. This is an emotional game, and an emotional boost like that can go a long way. You sure you don't want to focus on rebounding? Coach Tucker doesn't like talking about his emotions. <laughs> it's not my favorite subject, but I understand the appeal of taking down a hated foe. If that's what you want to do, we'll help you get there. Fantastic. Sounds like we're in total alignment. Just remember, every moment matters. Give everything you've got to this and you'll be rewarded. I'm just hoping to get through this game as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah? My least favorite assignment of the season. You hate those guys? Not particularly, but it's their PR director that I hate. <laughs> What's up? Is that a, like, uh, professional rivalry sort of thing, or what? No. We used to date. Oh. Yeah. Well, girl, you know I got you. That's nice. Thanks, MP. But don't do anything you wouldn't normally do. I don't want to be the reason you play out of character. Don't worry about it. I got this. And this time it's personal. Everything okay tonight? How's that back feel? I'm good, Burn. How about you, man? Squad on point tonight? Yeah, I'm the usual aches and pains, but nothing I can't handle. Of course. I'm a little more nervous than usual, though. Oh, yeah? Why's that? <laughs> that tonight means more than most. I can't stand those guys. <laughs> I ain't never seen Burn all riled up. I thought you loved everybody, man. I do, but my first training job was over there. And without getting into a long story, it didn't work out. Man, I thought you had been here your whole career. I landed here. I'm happy, mm -hmm. but I do have a long memory. Well, say no more. I'll make sure I put these chumps in their place, man. You already know. I appreciate that, MP. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Darrell, what's up, my man? How's it doing? There he is. MP, how you feeling tonight? You ready to drop 40 on these fools? You already know. Whatever it takes, man. Good, because I need this one bad. Oh, uh, yeah? How's that? I don't like them. Huh. I'm from there. You didn't know that? Oh, man, sorry about that. It's all good, but if we lose tonight, I'm gonna hear from my sister, 
my brother-in-law, my nephew, my auntie, even my mom. You already know, I know. We can't have that. Okay. All right, well, let me go out here and take care of that. I'll see you after the game, my man. That's it. See you. And our next all-star is MP. No surprise there. This guy's really turning it on the first half of the season, having an amazing season so far. And the cool thing is, like, he's been especially good when he goes up against other stars. And you can tell he's got those games circled on his calendar, and mm -hmm. I, for one, am proud to call him a brother. I'm sorry, is he marrying your other sister? The <laughs> NBA brotherhood, Toby. You know, the thing that me and Russ are that you will never be in for as long as you live. Great. Yes, thank you for bringing it up again. Anyway, back to MP. This guy's a stud. And I fully expect him to lead a deep, 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 deep playoff run. Yeah, and he should be pretty fun at All-Star Weekend, too, because this dude, he knows how to put on a show. True. It seems here. like you really like talking to your opponents during the game. What is it about trash talk that you enjoy so much? You know, honestly, it's just, it's just fun. You know, it keeps me engaged in the game and it gives me that extra little bit of motivation. You know, we play 82 games in a season, so I gotta find a way to keep things interesting. You know what I'm saying? If it's on good fun, are there areas or topics you won't touch? Chris, you know, I'm not out there trying to talk about anyone's family, you know, their kids, their parents, you know. The NBA, it's a, it's a fraternity. We go at each other out there on the court, but at the end of the day, it's all love, you know. We're just hooping. The news is out, courtesy of Shams MP is your new regular season MVP. I tried to tell you guys, but you wouldn't listen. MP is by far the best player in the NBA. I have been saying MP, MP is the MVP for as long as you have. Lies. No, actually, I do think Russ brought it up before you. Shut it, Toby. What? I'm defending you. I don't need your help, Toby. It makes me look weak. Russ, there is nothing wrong with being weak. In fact, as the great poet John Donne once said, no man is an island. Mm. Every man is a piece unto himself. Right. A part of the continent. Mm. A part of the main. Says the man who can't bench his own body weight. Okay, you know what? I told you that in confidence, and I am working on it. Okay? <laughs> Not I, that hard, obviously. <laughs> you know what? I'm not doing poetry for you anymore. Okay? No, but Sad. we love the poetry, nope. Toby. No more. You guys mind if I say something, you know, since this is my show and all? Floor is all yours, buddy. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Toby, you are my sister's husband, and, and I love you. But if you ever mention poetry again on this show, on my show, much less misquote poetry, I will not only fire you, but I will make sure that you never work in this industry again. Are we clear? You wouldn't do that, oh, first Oh, don't push me, Toby. And Russ, you may have seen the light eventually, but I was the only one beating the MP is MVP drum since the second this season started. Oh, okay, I think that's a little premature yeah, see, to make I that call, it first. don't you? And you doubted me. Whatever, man, you can have this. Thank you. And I'd like to close by saying, not only is MP MVP of this league, but he is MVP of our hearts. Ooh. How's that for poetry, Toby? It's no John Dunn, but you know, it's fine. It is a Jalen Murphy original, though. Bars. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, making his first public appearance since being named NBA Rookie of the Year, MP. What's up, fellas? <laughs> the first of many, I'm sure. You can only win one Rookie of the Year, Toby, when you're a rookie. No, no, Jalen, I, I was saying. You do saying... know what a rookie is, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I know what a rookie is. I was, I'm saying it's the first of his appearances. He's going to make many more appearances. Uh, yeah, sure you are, buddy. Yes. That makes perfect sense. 
Toby never played ball. Yeah, it's true. He's never even touched a basketball. No, oh, Toby never played. We're doing this again. Okay, great. Thank MB, you. MB, you know what rookie means, don't you? Um, a first-year player. You see, Toby, this guy knows ball. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I guess I'm the Jalen Murphy show for rookie of the year, too, huh? Oh, yes, you are. Let's talk about this honor, MP. You said a rookie is a first-year player, but you look like you were a seasoned vet out there. Did NBA hoops come easier to you than you expected? I mean, Jalen and Russ, you guys know this. Nothing about being a professional athlete is easy. Everyone in this league is elite. You know, I just control what I can control, keep my nose to the grindstone, and trust the work. You hear that, Russ? <laughs> my boy is smooth. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> smooth off the court as he is on. Oh, that's how MP gets you. Says all the right things in front of the cameras. But once they're off, woohoo! Take no prisoners. Well, here we are. Playoffs. At the beginning of this season, a lot of people thought we'd be lucky to win a series or two. Shoot, uh, a lot of people thought we should be happy to be here. But I'm not a lot of people. I'm the guy who pushes you to be the best you can possibly be. And I will tell you right now, the best you can be is champions. Let's go. Let's go. I've been around this league a long time, and you are the hardest working group of guys I have ever coached. You're also the most talented group of guys I've ever coached. And when you have that combination, I'm telling you, your wildest dreams can come true. You just need to trust each other and fight for every possession like your life depends on it. It's not gonna be easy. It never is this time of year, and I don't care how much success we had during the regular season, that means nothing now. You know what's at stake here? It's immortality, gentlemen. Now go out there and seize it. MP, bring us in. Let's go out there and win as a team, fellas. Win on three. One, two, three, win! win. Let's go! Unknowns and earn their title as Western Conference champions. They have battled their way to this point of the season, and now only one team stands between them and the NBA championship. The championship is theirs. To be on the road, to silence the crowd, winning a championship with all of it on the line. What an incredible performance. Hats off to this team. An incredible moment. MP, congratulations. What's up, Championship man? in your rookie year, very special. Thanks, John. But. But. <laughs> there's always a but with you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know I have to, MP. Yeah. You did it on a team with a stacked roster that had very high expectations coming to the season. Mm -hmm. Is there any part of you that wishes you had to do more to earn this? I mean, you've talked a lot about building a dynasty, but it feels a lot like you're joining one in progress rather than building one on your own. I guess I did ask for this. Um, I've done plenty for this, John. Uh, I've given everything to this game. And if I'm joining a dynasty in progress, there's no shame in that. That just means that my job is to make sure that it keeps going. And I promise you, I'm going to keep it going. Is that your guarantee that you'll win a title next year? Well, there's no guarantees in a season. So I won't guarantee that. But we are the favorites. So if someone wants to win, then they're going to have to come through us. Hey, what do you mean by Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence of greatness as newly minted champion MP joins us in the studio. MP, welcome, brother. Thanks for having me, Jalen. Um, I've been watching this show since I was 15. 
I'm a big fan, man. I'm a big fan. Happy to be here. Oh, and we're so happy to have you, MP. Like, you are an absolute revelation on the court. Just between between your, your basketball yeah. IQ, oh your dog and determination. Toby. Right enough, Toby. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I got to lay off my man, Toby. He brings a valuable perspective to the show. <laughs> yes. It's valuable perspective. <laughs> valuable nerd perspective. Ah, uh, and they all matter. You should know. What you play, um, 12 minutes in the uh, league? Oh, oh, no, 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 what I'm saying is, you know, you were a valuable teammate <laughs> to the, you know, the team. You Yeti. you called out coverages from the bench. Yeah. You okay. helped everyone in practice get ready for okay. the game. There so we that go. stuff matters, there we man. Go. I like that. Not as much like as that. playing the game. That's hey, and Jalen, you, you never averaged more than what? Seven points a game? 8.2! Oh, no, 8.2! No, no. no. Let me finish, let me finish. But you, you brought a tenacity and an edge that helped the team maintain a competitive mindset for 48 minutes. And, you know, you you can't win without everyone bringing something unique to the table. Okay. MP, and that's you, why I love this You are show. a heck of a player. And you've got your squad to number 10 on my dynasty list for a reason. But I know television. Mm -hmm. I know podcasting. I know entertainment. And let I let Toby shine the exactly correct amount. Which is 2.3% per episode. Oh, Toby! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let y'all do it. MP, as yeah. someone who has won a championship, Mm -hmm. Myself. Oh, mm -hmm. what, what did you yeah. average? Two minutes per game? Oh, that's I not important, <laughs> Russell. You and I know, you and I know, yeah. as champions, that sports, they're not one on a spreadsheet. They're one in here and in here. So I want to know from you, what it's like for you in here and up here. What would you say is the single most important part of your mindset, of your approach to the game that's allowed you to reach the top of the mountain in your rookie year? I'm a, I'm a hooper through and through. I put the game first. A lot of guys, they reach this level and they get caught up in the lifestyle, you know, hanging out with celebrities, CEOs, going to fancy restaurants, these exclusive nightclubs or whatever. But, you know, me, I'm in the gym every day, all day, every day, staying locked in on the details, making sure that I, I do everything to not let anything get in the way of me maximizing my potential. There's time for all that other stuff after I retire. But for right now, I'm a hooper first, second, and last, man. Guess you never learned that, Russ, right, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> Were you talking about uh, going to nightclubs? And <laughs> nah, he a hooper. He is a hooper. I seen him, man. He is a hooper, man. I got yeah, you. Yeah, me man. too. In inside. <laughs> MP, it has been an absolute joy having you in the studio. I think we can all agree, one of our best guests ever. Thank you for sharing your perspective with us, brother. Anytime, Jalen. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Jalen. Shall we do one? Shut it, it Jalen! Uh. It's a possible slogan. <laughs> Taking it down. Yo, there he is, the champ. Yo, What's good. What up, Pete? You wanted to see me, man? Oh uh, yeah, man. I wanted to talk to you about the off season. You know, um, since you got a lot of options, I wanted to pick your brain a little bit and see what you might be interested in getting into. Okay, great. So I know you got the whole training regimen in place, right? But not every day is spoken for. So the way I see it is, you got three things that I think can help you up your game. And those are uh, FIBA qualifying, open runs with NBA guys, and even more focused training on your own. Okay, you want me to unpack that for you? Yeah, but if you don't mind, keep it quick. You know what I mean? I got a date tonight. Oh, OK, okay I see. Well, yeah. I promise I'll keep this short and sweet, all right? Appreciate it. So obviously, you know you've got an open invite to play for Team USA. Yeah, FIFA. they made official once we won the U19. Right, right. right. Yeah. So this year is a qualifier. I mean, we're qualifying whether you're there or not. But this is a chance for you to rope in some bigger names for the FIBA games, which are coming up in 2027. Yeah, how do you mean? Well, you got pulled with Team USA. So yep. if you say you want to invite Superstar X, mm -hmm. they'll invite Superstar X, right? Then if you guys, you know, play in the qualifier, have a good time, develop a relationship, right? he'll be more likely to play with you when it really counts in the FIBA games, right? Well, so, makes... you know, it's a long play, but it could be worth it depending on how much the FIBA games mean to you. Well, that makes sense. What are you thinking? How are you thinking? Well, I mean, you could also go the open run. Mm. Mm -hmm. And how would that help me? Well, more relationship building. Invite guys from the team to help strengthen the bond, mm -hmm. or guys from around the league to maybe recruit down the line in free agency. Shrewd. What's the third thing, man? Well, the third thing is basically more of what you're already up to. You know, focus training, individual workouts, stuff that helps improve your game and skills. 
What if I want to just chill on the few days that I don't have accounted for, man? Hey, look, you can do that too, all right? This is your life, bro, and you know your body, so maybe you don't want to push yourself that hard, mm -hmm. right? But if you do want to push yourself as hard as I think you can, mm. one of these approaches could be really good for you. I see, I see. Come on, man, so what you thinking? A new year means new goals. Yep, fresh start, anything's possible. Indeed it is. So let's talk about the team's overall outlook and then we can drill in to your personal goals for the first half of the season. Sound good? Sounds great, let's do it. When you reach the mountaintop, your only job is to stay there. Yes, sir. Our goal this year is to repeat as champions. Anything less than that and we have failed to live up to our potential. No excuses, just get the job done. That's exactly right. right. So we're all in agreement. Why don't we talk MP through his first half goals? Coach? You know the drill by now. Mm -hmm. We show you a list of goals. You pick the one you want to focus on for the first half of the season. We've been looking forward to this all off season, coach. Take a look. Let me know what you think. I want to focus on road games. If we're going to hit our goals this year, then we need to win in hostile environments. Ain't no better way to overcome adversity than facing it head on. And playing in front of 20,000 fans who want nothing more than to see you fail is a great way to test your mettle. Oh. Glad you see it my way, coach. <laughs> That's my goal you just picked. Technically, you see it my way. All right. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> and you just failed your first test. Never back down from a bully, especially on the road. Always teaching, huh? Well, that's good, because I'm always learning. I'll make a road warrior out of you yet, MP. We're just getting started. I'd love to see us working towards a common goal. Anything else you two would like to discuss? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, looking forward to getting after it. This is going to be a great season, y'all. Game time. Let's get it in. There he is, our homegrown superstar. Always knew you'd be the face of the franchise one day. Just didn't realize it would be so soon. You did? I must have missed that. Oh, come on. You know I called you a tremendous talent. That's true. Blew everyone's expectations out of the water. Lofty as they may have been. I appreciate that, Donna. Thank you. Don't even mention it. Shall we start your interview? The reporter for 2K Tip Off Mag is here, and he is ready when you are. Any advice? Do what you always do. Be yourself. You've now won a championship as the undisputed best player on your team. Mm. Is it fair to say that you're the face of the franchise? I think that it's fair to say, mm. um, but a lot of people, they'll try to be humble when asked a question like that, but I feel like that's just evading responsibility. How so? I know what I mean to this team. I'm its leader, you know? Um, and if I try to act like that I'm not, then I'm forcing that on someone else, and that's not fair to my teammates. And I know it might sound cocky, but being a leader, it means taking responsibility. And I'm the first guy that they look to when times are good or bad. Do you think that your teammates look up to you? I wouldn't put it that way. We're all grown men. We're all great players. I'm just the tip of the spear. But we need all of us to go where we need to go. And where we need to go is to the finals to win another championship for the people of our city. Great job. Really well done. Thank you. All right, let's take some photos for the cover. All right. We were all very impressed with how you handled yourself on and off the court during postseason. Who's we? Oh, you know, folks upstairs. Okay. Everyone knew you were going to be a star. We just didn't realize it would be this soon. I guess you guys knew it all along, huh? We drafted you, didn't we? But you can't go too far catering to a rookie. It might upset the vets. For sure. That makes sense. Like even now. We could have you alone on the cover, or we could include your teammates. Okay, so are we doing a solo cover or a team cover? It's complicated. I don't know. Obviously, we want to feature you. You're who the fans want to see. Right. But some people get sensitive. Okay, so which one is it? Well, frankly, you're the face of the franchise now, so it's kind of your call. We'll support you either way. Great choice. It's all you, Superstar. Thank you. Danny? Let's get it. You ready? Yep. 
right? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Give me another one, just for backup. Like this? Ah, perfect. Fantastic. We got everything we needed. All right, perfect. Let's go with Joe. Hey, thanks. You guys have been dialed in on the road all season long. How have you been able to find so much success in these hostile environments? You know, Joe, coach has been drilling it into our heads since day one. Great teams win road games. So, you know, we made a plan to get better in that area, and we attack that plan just like we attack all of our work. And the results speak for themselves. Speaking pretty loud. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yo, is that MP or MVP? Man's out here running man. the game. Come on, man. You know how we do. Hey, man, you keep this up, the whole world's gonna know how you do it. That trophy's gonna be ours. Ours? Yeah, we're all a part of the team, baby. Nah, come on, man. You know I'm just playing with you. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. There's an awful lot of credit. The front office, the coaching staff, the players, their families. A lot of sacrifice goes into becoming a champion. Indeed. And now one final challenge for them to overcome. Maybe the... Oh, to be crowned a champion on the oh, road is something else. We to did. win Let's and go. to do it with a crowd that was so emotional. We and did. so into this game, you've beaten the team and you've conquered everything yeah. that this great arena holds. Yeah, it, it's, it's a bitter right? way from the satisfaction. And we've enjoyed bringing yeah. you every minute of the action yeah. here on 2K Sports. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next season. Yeah, number one. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's just get through the tunnel safely, huh? Second one, twice as sweet. Yeah, yeah, of course. Walk it out. Yeah, there, yeah. Let's go, Matter. Oh, okay. Let's go. Get an AP. Yeah, sure. Bettina? A year ago, you said one ring was nice, but it wouldn't mean as much without two. Mm -hmm. You now have the second, so what does it mean to you? Uh, two is a different animal. You know, you win one, your job is done. Everyone's goal is to win one, but to win two, back to back, I mean, that's next level. That's, uh, it shows that you're a complete winner. What do you mean by complete? Well, after you win your first title, um, you're the aggressor, like on offense. You're dictating things. But defending the title, it's, it's literally defense. Everyone's coming for you every night. They're bringing their A game every night. And defense, is, it's reacting. And reacting is a lot more exhausting than dictating. So to win it this way, um, we're not just two-time champs. We're two-way champs. Thank you, Bettina. Uh, right here, right here. Jonathan. Will you right here, right now, guarantee a three-peat? Something your hero Michael Jordan accomplished twice? Or are you afraid of the attention that might bring? Well, it sounds like you're a whole lot of fun at parties, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, um, the only thing that I'm going to guarantee is that we're going to enjoy this one before we even start thinking about next season. And I feel like we've earned that right. You know, we've proved that we don't coast after a chip. Our hunger didn't go anywhere. It only got bigger, and two bites out of the apple is a lot better than one. Am I right, John? <laughs> Thank you very much, John. A new year means new goals. Yep, fresh start. Anything's possible. Indeed it is. So let's talk about the team's overall outlook, and then we can drill in to your personal goals for the first half of the season. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's do it. Should come as no surprise to you that we're looking to three-peat. Anything less would be unacceptable. All right. Should we talk about our personal goals then? I don't think there's any more ground to cover here. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Great. On to you, coach. You know the drill by now. Mm -hmm. We show you a list of goals. You pick the one you want to focus on for the first half of the season. We've been looking forward to this all offseason, coach. Take a look. Let me know what you think. Making the all-star team is important to me. That's what I want to shoot for. They don't give you rings for making the all-star team. No, but playing at an all-star level helps a team reach its goals. MP, this award is largely about narrative, but we know how to work the media, right? You show out in games against other top players, 
you'll get an all-star nod. If you win those games. That's always the goal, coach. But I'm trying to build a legacy. And making an all-star team matters. It's one of the things they talk about when they talk about legends, whether you like it or not. No, I understand. You help us win games, we'll help you make all-star. I appreciate that, Cliff. Hey, I got this. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see us working towards a common goal. Anything else you two would like to discuss? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, looking forward to getting after it. This is gonna be a great season, y'all. What up, Donna? MP, I've been looking for you. We need you to pick a pose for this season's marketing photo. Another photo? For what? For the giant banner outside of the arena. Make sure you pick a pose that you like. We can't just pick one of the pictures that we took last year. Do you really not understand how this works? Please don't play dumb because you don't want to take a photo. All right, fair enough. Let me see the choices. You said you want to be an all-star, right? Now it's time to back it up. This is the first game we circled everyone's going to be watching tonight. No doubt, coach. I'm ready. Okay. Just don't start playing hero ball. Make the right plays, keep the ball moving. This is still about the team. It's still about winning. You know I let the game come to me. I promise I won't do anything to get us off our rhythm. You're saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you do the right thing. I hear you, coach. Believe me, I hear you. Look, if you want to make the All-Star team, these are the games that you got to bring it. The whole league was watching this one, MP. I know. I ain't get it done. I think you know I don't particularly care if you're an All-Star or not. That's not my focus. But if this is something that you want, and I know that it is, 100%. you can't have any more games like this that we marked as crucial. I get it. I'll be better. See that you are. All right, you guys, we need to talk about MP for a minute. This guy is blowing up. Blowing up? Hasn't he always been nice? Oh, the past means nothing, Russell. But actually, in, in this context, Jalen, the past does mean a, a great deal. In this context, it means a lot, actually. Okay, if you are saying that someone is blowing up, mm. that means they have not previously Break it down. Blown, blown up. And so they're uh, kinetic, in, in, a, in a way. And your entire argument is predicated on knowledge of the past. Man, say kinetic. You use a lot of big words, Toby, but you don't know ball. This is a what have you done? for me lately, League, and as my friends in finance say, past performance is not indicative Jaylen, of future what results. What is your point? Yeah. My point is nothing is guaranteed in this life. Nothing! So the fact that MP is playing well, well, this season, like an all-star, is noteworthy. Well, he's an all-star by every all-in-one metric that you can measure him by. Don't Just, care. I mean, he definitely passes the eye test. So metrics plus eye test equals baller. Oh, he more than passes the eye test. MP is one of the top centers in the league today. End of story. Shut it down. Show is over. Mic drop. Really? And he said it, too, after he did it? That's an expensive mic, Jalen. Wow. You've made a lot of progress towards your goal. People are talking about how you delivered in big games against big-time players. Thanks, coach. I just wish I would have been able to lock in just a little bit more, man. Mm. Something to work on for the future. Still, people are impressed. You showed them what you could do. You think, um, you think I'll make All-Star? Cliff says you got a real good chance. Just got to wait and see what the voters do. I can live with that. Nice work, MP. You did a good job. Appreciate you, coach. Yo, this is the first game coach picked for your personal. Go on. Yep. And the whole point is for me to cook my matchup. And you know I can't Yo, wait, bro. Why don't you start cooking right now? Man? What you mean, bro? Just post them on social media. Give them something to think about. Nah, I don't know about that one. What's the big deal, bro? Everybody loves a little trash talk. Not everybody. You already know a coach ain't gonna like that. What? I ain't even that deep, bro. Look, I don't even use my socials anymore. So what, man? You still got them here. Look, I'm already signed in. Start posting. All right, it's done. All right, I 
That's what's up, man. Go out there and do your thing. You already know. Plain view. Plain view. Go get him. What was that little stunt you pulled before the game? You mean what I did on social? What do you think? I don't get it. What's the problem? I know you picked an individual goal, MP, but this is still a team game. The focus here is wins, not boosting your followers. Coach, it ain't even like that. I use it as motivation. Yeah, so do our opponents. And it's the kind of attention we don't need. And it's not even that big of a deal. People talk like this in the league all the time. It puts a target on our back and it riles up opposing fans. Nothing good can come of this. I'm not sure Nothing. that I agree with that. Well, maybe you will when you grow up and realize the team is more important than your ego. Anything else? I'm done here. You can go. So, I figure you saw that tweet. Yeah, I saw it. And you didn't say anything back? No. Nope. I remember what you told me last time. That's good. Yeah, that's good. What's wrong? Honestly? <sighs> I was kind of hoping you'd put him in his place. What? I thought we didn't like that kind of attention. Last time you started it. You were the bully. Now you're just defending yourself. No one would fault you for that. Coach, I did not think you had this side to you. I like it, man. <laughs> Everyone's got their limits, right? So you sure? I can respond. And you ain't gonna get mad. Mm -mm -mm. I encourage it. Just make sure you back it up. Not even an issue. I got you, coach. MP, let's go with Joe. Let's go with Joe. MP, do you feel your recent performances have established you as one of the top players in the league at your position? Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to say in this era of positionless basketball. And, you know, my goal is to be one of the best. And I feel like I'm getting there. You know, I've had a lot of success against guys who pundits say are better than me, and that tells me that I'm doing something right, Joe. <laughs> You're on your way. All right, thank you. Something else to win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional, and so into this game, you've beaten the team, and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But our full credit right, to the victims think, and the right, amazing right, job they to celebrate in yeah. front of their own fans yeah. does not take away from the satisfaction. And we've enjoyed bringing you every minute of the action here on 2K Sports. Thanks yeah. for watching. We'll no see way. you next season. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. They All actually right, did baby. it. Yeah, All right, let's go home. Here. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Are you going to cover the parade? Yeah, 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 I'll do it. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, um, All right, let's see. Let's I got David. Yo, you was locked in, man. You did. Hey, where, where's the camera? Where, oh. Yo, when you talk about this team, this three-peat, this dynasty, you got to talk about all of us, like my guy right here. Hey, he was a beast. We not holding this Larry O.B. without him. Am I right, y'all? Yeah! 3-P, 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 yeah! Let's go! Yeah! There we go. A new year means new goals. Yep. Fresh start. Anything's possible. Indeed it is. So let's talk about the team's overall outlook, and then we can drill in to your personal goals for the first half of the season. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's do it. Usually I start these meetings by telling you what we want to do. Mm -hmm. But this time I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Hell yeah? What's that? We're going to be the first team to four-peat since your grandma was wearing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Cliff. Let's go, baby. Is it all right if we move on to more practical concerns now that we finished celebrating before we even started doing the work? Life is short, Brian. Lighten up a little bit. Well, the season's short, too. And we got no time to waste. All right. Fair enough. Let's talk about MP's first half goals. You know the drill by now. Mm -hmm. We show you a list of goals. You pick the one you want to focus on for the first half of the season. We've been looking forward to this all off season, coach. Take a look. Let me know what you think. All right, look. I want to win the NBA Cup. 
so do all the top contenders. Which is why we need to make it a priority. When we go into those playoffs, I want to have that psychological edge. And the NBA Cup gives us that. Can't say I disagree. Solid choice, MP. I'd love to see us working towards a common goal. Anything else you two would like to discuss? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, looking forward to getting after it. This is going to be a great season, y'all. All right. There was a lot of talk in this locker room at the beginning of the season about winning the NBA Cup and using that run to turn this year into something special. The team you're playing tonight, they don't care about your, your hopes or your dreams or what any of you are, are visualizing. We lose this game, we're out of the tournament before it even gets started and the rest of the league gets the scent of blood. Uh, don't get so lost in the clouds that you trip over what's right in front of your face. You take it one possession at a time, one rotation at a time. Make the pass, trust your teammates. Trust the work. We are not winning any trophies tonight, gentlemen. Just focus on beating the team that's in front of you. Yep. All right, bring it in. Win on three. All right. One, two, three, win. win. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, the team. Watching you tonight, it looked like you were playing for something more than the NBA Cup. Is that how you felt? Well, you can't miss the fact that this is a big deal for the fans. There's a buzz in the building, and we all respond to that, but we have to, we have to remember that we haven't accomplished our goal until we won a championship. That's what this city deserves, and that's what we're working for. Now the championship is theirs. To be on the road, to silence the crowd, winning the championship with all of it on the line. What an incredible performance. Business next Hats season, off man. to this team. It. Play hard, bro. An incredible moment. And you know what I'm missing for the world, Man, bro. Man, I can't believe you here. Hey, yo, check it. Ah. Yo, this is my guy, Benny Thomas yeah, yeah, yeah. from high school. Yo, plain view all up in this. That's Let's right. get it, man. <laughs> plain view. What? Hey, hey, plain view. view. Hey, plain view. <laughs> man, good to see y'all, man. A new year means new goals. Yep. Fresh start. Anything's possible. Indeed it is. So let's talk about the team's overall outlook, and then we can drill in to your personal goals for the first half of the season. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's do it. Should come as no surprise to you that we're looking to three-peat. Anything less would be unacceptable. All right. Should we talk about our personal goals then? I don't think there's any more ground to cover here. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Great. On to you, coach. You know the drill by now. Mm -hmm. We show you a list of goals. You pick the one you want to focus on for the first half of the season. We've been looking forward to this all offseason, coach. Take a look. Let me know what you think. I want to show that we're the top defense in the league. Uh, that's an admirable goal, but you should be aware that we'll be testing you against the best offenses in the league. Unlike the unwashed masses, we don't care if you pad your stats against the bottom dwellers. It's how you defend the elite offenses that counts. And that's what I'm looking to do. You don't build a dynasty without playing elite D. We need to get to that level to be who we want to be, or who we need to be. You got your head screwed on straight, MP. It's refreshing to see. I'd love to see us working towards a common goal. Anything else you two would like to discuss? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, looking forward to getting after it. This is going to be a great season, y'all. Can we talk, Russ? 
Talk to me, Magic Murphy. Can we talk about MP? Can we talk about what he is helping his team do defensively? And who they're doing it against. Exactly. This isn't a lucky stretch against a lottery team. They're doing it against the best of the best time and, and time again. they are winning. And here's the crazy thing. Anytime people like us, you know, guys who played the game at the pro level, we know that not every star is willing to lead like this on defense. Oh, no, no, they I mean, are not. I mean, don't, I don't want to name names. Oh, name names, Russ. But, you know, there may have been one or two stars who, when we played, weren't up to the task. We need a name. I'm not going to do that, okay? But I'll say this. The players know what's up. They know when someone's willing to bring it on both ends. And if their star is willing to do that, then it's obvious that they follow suit. Where talent leads, followers follow. Yeah, that answer would have been a lot more interesting if you had named names. Okay, and that's what's happening with MP right now. He's got these guys following his lead, and what he's leading them to is one of the best team defenses in the whole league. Maybe the best. You could certainly make that argument. Oh, I just did, Toby. You just uh, did. No, that was a statement. An argument requires evidence. Overruled. Overruled. No, don't do the courtroom thing. I hate the courtroom thing. Okay, we have a hostile witness, Your Honor. <sighs> we'll figure out Toby's sentence in a few, but first, this quick commercial break. While the jury deliberates. Tonight's one of those games we talked about in your goal set meeting. Mm -hmm. Going up against a top offense. How you feeling? You ready to dig in? I'm looking forward to the challenge, Coach. There's a lot of ways to stop a top offense, but sometimes it's as easy as stopping their best score. Tonight, you're guarding that guy. 100%. I'm locked in. It's time to go big game hunting, MP. Mm -hmm. We got to stop the unstoppable. Mm -hmm. I want you to dominate this dude. Not keep him in check, not make him work for it. You got to shut him down. You think you can do that? It doesn't matter what I think. I just got to go out there and do it. Yes, you do. Happy hunting, MP. Patina, uh, let's start with you. Hey. So your team hasn't just been winning. I mean, you've been overrunning teams like an offensive tsunami. <laughs> so what do you think is the bigger spark? Is it something in the team as a whole mm -hmm. or in you and your game? Offensive tsunamis, I like that. You know, because tsunamis are caused by earthquakes, you know, and by the time the water rises, you miss out on everything that happened out of sight underneath the surface, you know. And when you see that wave coming, you don't ask where that wave came from, you just get the heck out of the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> this is good. Great question. Thank you. And Pete, got a question for you. Hey, John, you got first today. There we go. What's the riddle today? <laughs> MP, your team has uh, established an identity as one of the league's scoring superpowers. Mm -hmm. A lot of teams with that label have come up short in the past. What makes you think your team's any different? You know, John, um, I didn't. I didn't play on those teams, so I don't know what went wrong for them. But I do know that the guys in our locker room, you know, they play in the right way. And they've been pouring in points and stacking up wins. And, you know, we didn't play against the teams in 1968 or 1993 or 2012. You know, we play against the teams that are on our schedule and, hey, we beat them. Games, wins, and losses. The emotion, the exhaustion, culminating into tonight. And whenever you win the NBA championship, there is a level of accomplishment and excitement that really can't be matched. But great, amazing to have a cut. The bench loves it. The fans obviously overjoyed. This is one of those moments these players will never forget. And we've enjoyed bringing you every minute of the action here on 2K Sports. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next season. MP, five in a row. You know the history of this game. Where does this one leave you, historically? Well, Michelle, um, it means I'm not only in the conversation for GOAT, uh, I'm as good as answer as any. You know, you want to say LeBron for the points, the assists, the consistency, 
That's a great answer. You want to say MJ with all those rings, uh, the clutch gene, that's a good answer. You know, Kareem, you know, a legend on every level, that's a good answer. But now, you know, MP is as good as answer as any. Too early to be thinking about number six? <laughs> well, you know, I've been thinking about six since I won one, you know, but, you know, just setting goals and being on a relentless pursuit of them, you know, that's how I got to where I am today. So, yeah, thank you so much. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> a new year means new goals. Yeah, fresh start. Anything's possible. Indeed it is. So let's talk about the team's overall outlook, and then we can drill in to your personal goals for the first half of the season. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's do it. Should come as no surprise to you that we're looking to three-peat. Anything less would be unacceptable. All right. Should we talk about our personal goals then? I don't think there's any more ground to cover here. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Great. On to you, coach. You know the drill by now. Mm -hmm. We show you a list of goals. You pick the one you want to focus on for the first half of the season. We've been looking forward to this all off season, coach. Take a look. Let me know what you think. I want to focus on rebounding. Ah, a man <laughs> after my own heart. <laughs> I thought you might like that one. I love that. Rebounding separates the men from the boys and is critical to a team's success. I mean, the possession battle is everything. Casuals don't it's, understand it's that. It's a dirty job, but yeah. If you're willing to do it and do it well, you will find glory beyond your wildest dreams. I don't think I've ever heard you wax so poetic, Brian. <laughs> what can I say? Rebounding moves me. Me too. Then we'll get you boarding in the lead level. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I'd love to see us working towards a common goal. Anything else you two would like to discuss? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, looking forward to getting after it. This is going to be a great season, y'all. Wins and losses, the emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. And whenever you win the NBA championship, oh, there is a level to, right? of, a, to have accomplished this goal. The celebration is here, and this place is going crazy. The bench loves it. The fans obviously overjoyed. This is one of those moments these players yeah. will never Number forget. Yeah. And we've enjoyed bringing you yeah. every minute of the action here on 2K Sports. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next season. Six. You made history. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well deserved. All right. Well, it's fun when they Yeah. Yeah. I call MP. Cookie, cookie, yeah, Rouse, but oh, what about these rumors of look at this. scouting the other? Yeah, I mean, we gotta address this. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm happy for Jameson, you guys. Jameson, Jameson, what's up, man? That's six for six. What you got to say? What you gonna say about that, man? I mean, you. Um, ah, I, nah, don't tell me the great Jonathan Jameson is speechless, man. Come on, bro. That's what. Who would have known it only takes six straight Larry Obes to make you speechless, man? That's crazy. MP, huh? stranger things have happened. <laughs> and all I can say is I'm happy for you, buddy, all right? Man, I appreciate it. Keep doing your all thing, right. man. I will. Right. Six Watch straight, out. Bro. Six straight. Hey. Yeah, Jameson. MP, 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 Bettina. What's next for you, MP? <laughs> Six straight titles isn't enough for you, Bettina. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is... What's next for you, mm. you specifically? I mean, at some point, it can't just be about winning titles. You've literally done that over and over again. Mm. Do you learn something new about yourself with each one? Or do you eventually have to find new challenges to, mm. you know, push yourself beyond even that? That's a, that's a great question, Bettina. Um, I think it's a little bit of both. You know, every title, it plays out differently. You know, you, you have your different challenges and it's winning titles doesn't get old. You know, you have something new to look forward to every single time. So that's why I feel like it's so hard to do what we've done, to win at every challenge that comes your way year after year after year is almost impossible, you know. But on the other hand, to continue to evolve to those new challenges you have to keep pushing yourself and keep pushing your limits so if you're if you're trying to win your second title you have to train like it's your third and if you're trying to win your fifth title then you have to train like it's your seventh or eighth 
Well, what's it like training for your six? <laughs> like I want to go home and fall asleep in my bed until training camp. <laughs> Thank you, Fatina. Um, Jonathan? Is this the greatest dynasty in NBA history? Mm. Yes, it is. And it's exactly how I thought it would be when I was a kid dreaming about this moment. You know, growing up where, I, where I'm from, it was rough. It was like um, you didn't have anything and the whole world forgot about you. But we had each other. And I feel like that's what helped help me understand what it takes to build a dynasty like this one because you I tell you you have to overcome incredible odds just to make it out of a place like Plainview and you can't do it alone and that's the same thing that goes here that's why I mean that's the same thing for here that's why um, to get the ability to have an entire organization lock in the way that they have you know this many times in a row, this is astronomical. And, but that's what you need. And you can't, like I said, you can't do it alone. So I want to take this time to thank my organization, the entire organization from top to bottom, sincerely. And uh, I want to thank everyone back in Plainview, Illinois. You know, you helped mold me to be the man that I am today. And no matter how many gyms that I built or libraries that I pay for, I could never thank you enough. Um, you always deserve more than I can give. So thank you, Plainview, Illinois. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> it is a huge day on the Jalen Murphy Show as MP and company move into the number one spot on my all-time NBA Dynasty list. What took you so long, yeah, Jalen? I mean, Jalen loves jumping the gun. And honestly, they've deserved this honor for quite some time now. You know right. what else I love, Toby? My beautiful and flawless Dynasty list. Ah. It is a cultural institution, and it must be treated with respect. What's your point, Jalen? You don't go around revising something like that whenever you feel like it. This is the single most important document in the history of basketball, wow. nay, Whoa. in the history wow. of the world, and you've got to be sure that you've got it right. Or what? Well, the world will devolve into chaos, Whoa. misery, and destruction. That's a bit much. It's overwrought. Yeah. Well, you're a bit much, Toby. Oh. But I won't let you distract from this momentous occasion when we crown the leader of the most impressive dynasty in the history of the NBA. It's no argument for me. Yeah, I actually totally agree with you this yeah. time. What do you mean you agree? We agree. We, we agree. Yes. We, we actually Smart. were. What? We Very agree. good team, yeah. yeah. Guys. What? I, I'm, I'm trying to create some drama here. This show's no fun when we all agree with each other. I don't know. I yeah. mean, it's pretty fun watching you have a meltdown right now. I'm well, having you both a will be time. having a wonderful time when we get canceled and you don't have jobs because you can't be bothered to disagree with me. Come on. We need to regroup. We're going to go to a commercial break, and then when we come back, I need you guys to hate something that I say. Are, are we understood? Hate? Yeah, hate it. Uh, I don't know. I can try. Okay, good. She, yeah. Uh, right. Really? How do it's you... going to be a heavy lift. Okay. All right, when we get back with the Jalen Murphy Show, there will be some epic disagreements where we all hate what each other says. Right? Can't back stand it. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not. Nope. No, we're not going to do that. Boo! Woo! <laughs> Man, I'll never forget when me and MP were 16 years old, playing for Wolfpack and Dynasty, two club league teams back in Plainview, Illinois. I remember I told MP he needed to shoot more if he wanted the scouts to notice him. Can you believe that? <laughs> me telling MP he needed to shoot more? <laughs> I thought he was afraid to be the man. But the truth is, he was mature, wise beyond his years. Winning, he said. 
Winning is what they notice. Even as a kid, his instincts were spot on. There's no shortcuts to greatness. You can't cheat your way to the top. The game's too pure for that. It's too good for that. Every generation has its goat. You can't really compare them because you don't know anything about the world before you were born. I don't know what Wilt Chamberlain meant in 1965. Kareem, Magic, Larry, Mike. When they hit, they showed their time that the impossible was possible. But for those of us who came after those greats, we need new heroes to break new barriers. A kid from Illinois had the same dream millions of kids all over the world do to become the greatest basketball player of all time. Not only that, we dreamt of being part of a historic dynasty. You know, we grew up hearing about the Bulls and their six championships. Six championships. I mean, how do you even do that? That's like someone landed on Mars. Neil Armstrong took one giant step. Truth be told, MP got away with three steps or more, a lot. But if anyone was going to make the impossible possible, it was always going to be him. May I present the latest, greatest, Naismith Hall of Fame inductee, MP. Wow, 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 wow. As much as my life today would be unimaginable to the kid back in Plainview, the one constant has always been Patrick. He shot too much then and he talks too much now. <laughs> what makes a Hall of Famer? It's not any one thing. And it's not the same thing for any two players but there are two qualities shared by every Hall of Famer. What we bring as individuals and what we bring to our teams. As an individual, I brought a couple things to the table. One record I'm especially proud of is having made more threes in a season than anyone else. But at the end of the journey, it's the people you met and walked with along the way that mean the most. And what you accomplish as part of a team that you will remember most fondly. I was lucky to play where I did. Everything's bigger in Texas. What better place to chase your biggest dream than Dallas? The things we accomplished Unless you followed the NBA 60 years ago, you've never seen a team win as many consecutive championships as we did. We made history together. History yellows faster and faster these days. So do the world a favor. Don't forget what we did. There's a reason nobody wins more than three years in a row. The irony of every title you win is it stacks the odds against you winning the one next year. You've played a longer, harder season than 28 other teams. Your off season is shorter. The following season, everybody wants to bring their A game when they play you, but we're up for the challenge again and again and again. One last note, I wouldn't be here today without Coach Tucker. Where are you at, Coach? There he is.
I talk to Coach Tucker about visualization all the time, and he's never seemed like a fan. I bet him years ago that if we ever found ourselves here, him watching me inducted into the Hall of Fame, he would give it a shot. So, Coach Tucker, close your eyes. All right, good. Good job. Now I want you to visualize yourself, visualizing yourself, visualizing that you're in a room alongside more basketball royalty than you've ever been with. And for some reason, you're wasting that time sitting there with your eyes closed. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.